Our trip through Laos was getting more and more interesting. We have actually extended our stay in this beautiful colonial French style town, but it was time to move on. After a tasty coffee in our favorite roastery in town, a picture perfect croissant like the one in France, we started our journey to reach Laos countryside. In this short episode, we are taking you on a journey from Luang Prabang to Ban Vieng in the center of the country using the fastest and most comfortable way as possible. Reaching the train station in Laos wasn't easy. All of them are located about 20-30 minutes drive away from town. The problem is, if you aren't smart, they're trying to scam you with the hefty fees. We tried to avoid that, as Grab doesn't work. We asked help to our homestay and they arranged a public transportation which only cost us about one pound each. We made it! Beautiful station! <laughs> yeah, this is the extraordinary amazing i mean uh, i know that it's located in the middle of nowhere but it's literally gorgeous. middle of yeah. nowhere but it's stunning so today we are taking the train from Luang Prabang to Van Bien. this um, is the only thing that is technological advance in laos and true. it's quite surprising that's true yeah so a couple of things to know before so uh, first thing, uh, try to get your tickets a couple of days before. They usually sell the tickets three days in advance. So we, we kind got of did, yesterday. Yeah, we kind of did it yesterday, and we ended up spending uh, just a little bit more, 180,000. Double eight. Yeah. There are there are three kind of tickets, and there are three uh, trains per day from Luang Prabang to uh, Ban Vieng, and then Vientiane. The same train does the whole track. There are three trains per day, one at around one o'clock, another one around four, and our at 6.20. At yes. So you can choose three kinds of prices. I didn't get prices, Lee. Yeah, Which one? It's uh, first class, business class, and standard class. I think we got the business class uh, because, what? I don't know, I was just checking in the ticket office. It <laughs> was the said, only thing yeah. available <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. So like now, if you want to have a last minute ticket, there are just 11 seats available for the first class, which is going to be like expensive. It's like three or 400,000 keep. Yeah. Uh, instead, our ticket was like 180, which cost like nine pounds, ten dollars, more it's or less, still, okay, the day it's before. Affordable. It's affordable. It's yeah. fine. Uh, another thing to know is that you can buy the ticket by yourself, so you don't need uh, uh, anyone to oh my God. for yourself. Yes, so you don't need to ask locals to buy for you. If they kind of trying to say, oh, you can't do it by yourself, it means because they want to upsell. Yes. So, and they will sell you the, in in town. They will sell you the tickets for the last option available for the same price of yes. the business class which we pay. So, I've seen so much misinformation now on the uh, Laos backpackers group, and it's it's better to make it clear. Yeah. You can buy the ticket by yourself. You just need to carry your passport to the to the station. Just take the shuttle that take you from the town to the station buy your tickets and return to the town like i did yesterday it takes you about two hours to do that yeah because it's kind of a half an hour journey so yeah. and on the way back uh, you can't get in unless the the, uh, the van is full which is makes sense, otherwise they will let you pay like under fifty thousand. Yeah. yeah like private yeah. shuttle yeah and uh, another thing, just to have cash with you that you can actually um, small notes. Pay. Yes, small notes because we were spending 20 minutes because the driver didn't have a change for us. So just in case. Anyway, it. now it's time to pass security because you have to pass security, yes. put your mask on. Those are minimum requirement. Yes. So let's go and see how smooth is the our journey to the bullet train. Hopefully.
the drinking water. Um, the check-in opened 20 minutes before, so we should go and start queuing. Now? Yeah. Let's go. The train was on time, which was a surprise. The environment is clean and friendly personnel look after you. On board you will find basic amenities for a train of its kind, such as power outlets, clean toilets with western seat style, wash basin, hot water dispenser, and even a bar open from time to time for hot food and drinks. Oh, it's good. I, I kind of slept all the time. <laughs> she managed to sleep even on a short trip. Yeah, so 15 minutes I was sleeping. Uh, the journey was really good. We could charge our phones at least. And in less than an hour we made it to Bangkok. That's smooth, not like uh, the bus to buy. No, no, no. <laughs> Laos has recently completed its line of connection between three main cities, Luang Prabang, Van Vieng and Vientiane. The funds come directly from China, showing the strength of the Chinese railway network as a way to connect mainland China with the rest of the continent. In some ways, it looks like a Chinese train and some even cross the border. Still, it is far away from the standards of the Japanese railway network, although the prices in comparison are very cheap. <laughs> well, good catch. <laughs> so, what are you having? And I say, no eating tonight. And she slept on the train. Come on, it was just half an hour nap. She was able to sleep on a 300 kilometer train for less than half an hour. Literally, the train didn't start yet, and she was already snoring. It's not true. We are in Mangye. Very good, and you are already eating. Yes, I'm starving. <laughs> 